Okay, we're back at it once again. So, this week, what are we going to talk about? So, I thought it was appropriate, I don't really know why, to talk about human interactions, specifically social interactions, especially with strangers and people you're not familiar. Think about going to a social event where you don't know many people or, you know, the perfect place, a party, you know. Um, what are most people scared about with that? Well, it's meeting new people. And that's just not just in, you know, a party situation, but just like in general, people are pretty apprehensive to, or at least somewhat anxious about meeting new people. And why is that? And what can we do about it? So Jordan Peterson tells us what you view the party as is like, you know, oh God, what is the fuck? Now I'm forgetting it. Well, like, I don't know, he, 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 some shit about, like, you view it as, like, this scary monster, you know what I mean? Because it's this thing that's sitting there above you, judging you and stuff like that. And that's obviously not going to go well, because if you're thinking in the back of your mind, you're constantly being judged, and that you're, you know... Yeah, if you just got that in the back of your mind, you're not going to be well-received. Or it's going to be harder to be, like, you know, well-received and make friends and... Instead, you'll be anxious and nervous and stand to the side and you won't really talk to people and you'll be sad and pathetic and lonely forever. And that kind of sucks. So let's fix that. Oh, well, let's at least try to fix that. And like with a lot of things, it's about uh, perception. Yeah, that word, perception. In other words, what we think in our heads. So we need to flip that. So we've got it in our minds that everyone's judging us and that we're being judged and that puts us on edge, which means when we're on edge, you know, cortisol and stress and all that shit takes a hold. And one, we also lose a bit of our personality. You know what I mean? Like we don't get to really show who we are. Instead, we get to show this clammed up, anxious and nervous version of ourselves. And as you can imagine, that's not going to inspire much confidence in anyone. So it's unsurprising that no one takes notice of you and no one really cares. And isn't that the worst thing, eh? It's just like, you're worried about being judged. So you get stressed and nervous and clammed up. So then in the end you come, if anything, unnoticeable. And, and that's your response. You like, you know, you become unnoticeable. And then in the end, no one really does judge you because no one noticed you. It's kind of cruel that, you know what I mean? <laughs> One of those cruel facts of, you know, human existence. But what we need to do is we need to shift that around. We need to change what you think about yourself, especially in those interactions. Because obviously if you're, you know, going to see friends that you, or people that you know very well, it's like, you haven't got that problem. And you probably think to yourself, damn, I'm a real, you know, I'm a, I'm a completely different pe person when you get to know me, you know what I mean? And I think a lot of people would think and say that to themselves, but we need to bring that version of you out with like to people that, you know, or at least somewhat of a version of that to people that haven't gotten to know you yet. Cause we want to excite them and make them interested in getting to know that person. But if they never see a glimpse of it, then they're never going to, you know, see any signs of something they're going to want to move towards. So you need to think, and I was looking through my quote book and this is why I did this video or like, you know, did this topic for this video today is one of the quotes in my quote book is you are the giver of good feelings. Now that is huge, huge. Like this should actually, God, why haven't I done this earlier? Jesus, this is so stupid. I go about this in such a haphazard way, but you know what? You'll eat it up like the slop, you know, that it is and, and you'll love it, you know, and that's the best part about it because we'll get there together, right? Um, yeah, we'll figure, we'll all figure it out eventually, but the giver, you are the giver of good feelings. Why is this so important? It is because it shifts your mindset into how you should behave because instead of thinking, oh shit, everyone's judging me, everyone's judging me, it no longer becomes, like the lens of focus isn't on you anymore. Instead, it's about other people. So you are the giver of good feelings. You are the one providing 
others the good experience. And I know, kind of view it as like you're giving them a good judgment. Like, wh whereas you're thinking, oh man, everyone's judging me. By you being the, like you think to yourself, I'm the giver of good feelings. Instead, you've made the self judgment, I guess, that you are going to provide good experiences to other people. And then normally because, you know, everyone else has those same exact thoughts of being judged, you providing that kind of positive and, you know, good vibe, as they say, is going to be attractive to them. You know, that they're going to like that because it cuts through the tension and it makes things better. And not only that, you come off, you know, you get to present yourself in a closer light to what, you know, a better positive closer light to what you'd like to be seen as instead of just being this almost victim of other people's opinions you've already given yourself the opinion of what you're providing to the table. And because you're thinking about others and try, like, you know, like always you should try and be thinking of others. And when you think about yourself, it, it usually ends up going bad. But when you've got that lens of you're trying to provide a good time for other people, you kind of shake off that judgment, like I said. And when you haven't got those strange negative thoughts or anxious thoughts going on in your mind, you can really, you know, come forth, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. You get the message. The point I'm trying to make is it will provide you, and, and look, it's a thing you have to constantly tell yourself, but it will provide you the platform to get to meet new people and create, you know, good relationships, not necessarily intimate ones, but, you know, social connections and stuff like that, because, you know, we are social creatures and as much as, you know, people view themselves as extroverts or introverts, we all need some sort of connection. Otherwise we all go a little bit crazy. And yeah, I shouldn't say that I'm alone in a white room, <laughs> man, maybe I've gone insane and you're just watching this. Dang. Well, that doesn't matter. The important thing is, I think you at this point in the video should probably understand the message I'm trying to get to you. Don't worry, like if you're going to a party or you're meeting new people and you say this to yourself and you go, I'm the giver of good feelings and then it goes horribly wrong or, you know, you, you're walking into the party and you accidentally step in dog shit and then everyone laughs at you and then, you know, you have to walk home and you're holding your shoes and they've got dog shit and, you know, it's all sad and miserable. Look, that, you, you can't plan for that shit. Like, Literally, you can't plan for it. So it's just like, you just got to keep saying it to yourself and keep, you know, repeating it until eventually it becomes incorporated into, you know, your toolbox and, you know, tactics and, well, not tactics, but yeah, toolbox and how you approach things, you know what I mean? And from that point, you'll see a huge difference in how you, you know, interact with other people you won't feel as apprehensive to meeting new people. In fact, you'll see it as an exciting opportunity to provide something good to someone else, which if on this channel you've listened to, you know, even a few videos or a few of my content, you realize that a lot of this is about trying, you know, it's about bettering yourself to try and provide for other people or like to improve the experience of others. And that's what is meaningful in life. So. Be socially confident because if you are, you can build up other people. There's nothing more depressing or nothing more, I get uh, pathetic or sad. I don't, I don't know, kind of lousy about seeing a group of socially anxious people trying to interact with one another. It's like, oh man, when you view that from as an independent, when you're like, you just get to view it as a third party. Oh, it looks so gross because everyone just clumsily is like reaching out for each other, but it's also too nervous. So they kind of half reach out and then don't. And then it's just like, oh God. But if you're coming from that base of like, you think, no, I am providing people with a good time. I am the giver of good feelings. It, it, it doesn't matter what anything else is happening. It doesn't matter what else is happening in the party. I, or, or the inter or the interaction or environment. It's like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be the factor that changes this for the better that you will see will be a big change to a lot of your connections and you know relationships so 
Once again, like always, like and subscribe. I know you haven't been, but and I'm a little bit disappointed, but you know, pff, you know, maybe you'll learn one day. Maybe I'll be proud of you one day. Bye.